Hey everyone, welcome back to Widget Wisdom. In our last video, we successfully added pagination to our Flutter app, making it easy to load more data as users scroll through the list. Now today we are going to take it a step further by adding a search box to our project. This will allow user to quickly find specific post by typing in a search query, making our app even more powerful and user friendly. So if you are new here or need a quick refresher, let me quickly explain the pagination code that we implemented so that everyone can follow along as we add the search functionality. So to start, let's revisit what we did with pagination. We introduced a page variable to keep track of the current page number and a limit variable to define how many items we fetch per page. In our fetch post method, these variables are passed as query parameter to the API which then returns only a subset of posts based on the page number and limit. We also added a scroll controller to our list view. This controller allows us to listen for when the user scroll to the bottom of the list. When they do, we increase the page number and call fetch post again to load more data. To avoid sending multiple requests at the same time, we used an is loading flag. This flag is set to true when a request is in progress and only set back to false when the data has been fetched and added to our list. With these few lines of code, we enable our app to load posts dynamically as the user scrolls, ensuring a smooth and efficient user experience even with large data sets. Now that we are all caught up, let's build on the foundation by adding a search box to our project. This will allow users to quickly find specific posts by typing in a search query, making our app even more powerful and user friendly. Now let's start implementing the search functionality. So for that we will add a text field in the app bar and we will listen to the changes in the text field and filter the posts based on the search query. So for that first create a one more list of posts called filtered post and initialize it with the empty list. Then create a string variable called search query and initialize it with an empty string. So we will use this variable to store the search query. Now come below this fetch posts method and create a new method called update search query which will take a string query as an argument. Then come inside this method and call set state and inside this set state method set the search query variable with the query. Then call the where method on the posts list and pass a callback function that will check if the post title contains the search query or not. So this callback function will be used to filter the posts based on the search query. Then call the to list method on the where method and store the result in the filtered post. Now come to the fetch post method and come to the set state method and here assign the filtered post list with the post list. Then here add where method and pass a callback function that will check if the post title contains the search query or not. Then call the toList method on the where method and store the result in the filtered post. Now come to the build method and then come to this app bar and here add a bottom property and set it to a preferred size widget. And then set the preferred size widget property to size dot from height and pass k toolbar height. So this k toolbar height is a constant that represents the height of the toolbar. Then set the child property to padding widget and then add the padding of 8 from all the sides. Then set the child property to text field widget and then set the decoration property to input decoration widget. And here add the border property and set it to outline input border. Then set the hint text property to search. Then set the onChange property to update search query method. So this method will be called whenever the text field changes. Now come to the list view builder and then come to the item count property. And now from here remove the posts from all the places and replace it with filtered post. So now we are displaying the filtered posts in the list view. Now let's test the app. So save the file and go to the app and here you can see a search field in the app bar. Now type something in the search field and you can see that the posts are filtered based on the search query. So in this way 
you can implement the search functionality in the pagination demo app so this was the last step in the pagination demo app so in this app we have implemented the pagination functionality using the scroll controller and we have also implemented the search functionality in the app so that's it for this video if you like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this see you in the next video till then thank you for watching